April, April 29th, and just dawned on me before I started playing here that we have now hit officially our seventh anniversary. It happened sometime last week. I think I think the official date was like the 26th of April. So, um, and kind of in honor of that, and among a few other things, we're rolling out a, a sweepstakes, a, uh, a contest, kind of. Uh, more info on the DVD store page. So it basically has something to do with our, our new uh, DVD store. And in the past, when we've had contests, um, sometimes the prizes ended up being some pretty cool things. This one's going to include a, a huge set of DVDs, but I'm not sure I should spill these beans yet. But in the past, so uh, we have a few details to work out, and all that stuff will be will go live like tomorrow. It's going to be a 48-hour sale over the weekend. But um, the uh, that's what I mean. In the past. Sometimes there was a Skype lesson with uh, one of our teachers involved, so... Well, at the time, I was the only teacher. Now we've got a few. We've got Max, Vanessa... Hope we can get them on board. Well, again, this is all still in the planning pit stages. So, never mind. Disregard everything I just said. It may not even happen. Um, a lot of cool things going on on the forum today, and uh, or this, this week, and some pretty cool lessons. Um, I always miss that chord. Oh, there it is. Anyway, that was. I, I was glad somebody suggested that maybe that would make a good instrumental um, or a good instrumental lesson. It was kind of fun to do that. And actually, with with songs, with some of these songs that I um, start randomly playing instrumental versions of. Um, Usually after a few days or a week, I forget about them, and I'm glad to... It's always cool to make a lesson on them, because then I've at least got it documented. It's, it's part of the scrapbook now. And uh, that was part of the deal with this one. Uh, um, because I thought, you know, I, I had so, so much fun for a week messing with it that I thought I better just record it and, and get it out, out of the way. But I, I, I think I'll probably get to a lesson on that one, too. It's just going to be the uh, rolled-out, multi-part uh, drip feed. I think. So, uh, let's see, what do I want to talk about this week? There was, uh, the, the thread about flight things was pretty interesting. Um, hard to believe that uh, they wouldn't let violin players on, on a flight. I mean, I could understand not letting a guitar player on with a big old guitar, but uh, the violin thing really seemed weird because uh, those do fit in overheads, usually. Now, the really small planes, I took a flight once from, um, on one of the, you know, 40-seaters from, uh, Maui over to the Big Island, and uh, it was, first of all, it was really cool being on that low, on that plane, because it flies really low, and uh, the view is great, but on those, they uh, they move people around, they got to worry about how the weight's distributed and stuff like that, took a few people from the back, moved them up front, but uh, they certainly wouldn't, would have barely had any room in the overhead on that, they would have had to, they, but, but on little flights like that, they will frequently um, more than gate check them, I mean, they, they've got a table set up at the uh, when you're because these ones you don't even have the, the the jetway or whatever it's whatever it's called you have to come down the stairs walk across the tarmac and head up the stairs um, it's actually a pretty interesting flight now that I think about it too because when we landed in Hilo it was pouring and we had to you know everybody had to which not uncommon in Hilo um, but uh, everybody had a ways to go um, across the thing and sure enough at the back of the plane they had a big old stash of umbrellas handed everybody an umbrella as they got off. And when they got, and they had another bin to set them in, well, not everybody set them in the bins. Kind of cool having a Hawaiian Airlines token. Well, no, I didn't take the, I didn't take the umbrella. But, um, okay, wait, that's not, I really had no intention of talking about any of that. Let me think. What did I really want to do today? I want to tell you a little bit about some of the songs. Uh, Vanessa, very cool 10cc lesson. Um, and like uh, David said, that was a song that I remember when I heard, first heard it, I kind of thought, eh, geez, 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 wow, well, yeah. and anyway. But, uh, but seeing that video of the three of them playing it on acoustic guitars made it really fun. So um, 
you know, that sort of falls in the category of, of the Greg Lake stuff that I've been doing, too. It's like, here's, here's songs that I didn't think, at least never thought would make, make good lessons, and then, then look what happens. So, uh, what else do I want to talk about? The, the Nick Drake story. That, um, Michelle, it seems like I mention you every week on the news. We need somebody else that needs... No, no. Um, I have always thought about doing Which Will, and a couple of others. Um, so I, I, I will probably get to a few more of those. His songs are just uh, fabulous. So... Um, <laughs> Chris and his daughter playing it. messing around with those two chords and the two variations of the chords but the uh, I don't know the thrill of playing along with your kids the other day I may have mentioned this a few weeks ago on the news I was I was in the other office working on working on a few things and my daughter Rebecca walked in and I said you've been playing the guitar much she goes no I've been I've been working too much and going to school and all this other stuff and and so she said uh, well, she said, well, why don't you show me something? So we sat down and worked on, oh, and I'm not going to remember what song it is right now. Um, well, anyway, it was a pretty, a, a new hit by a, a young girl. Um, darn it, I should have, I should have prepped these stories. Eh, yeah, well, anyway, and uh, so we dialed up the, the YouTube video and I gave her a couple of hints and just said, hey, do this try this and many of you uh, the IGC folks that that uh, know her have seen her play play a few things and this is her her life as a kid she just picked things up fast and easy dancing hula all this stuff piano playing so uh, it was it was pretty fun and so so Chris I know the uh, the joys of doing stuff with your kids especially on a on a musical front and lots of other different levels that uh, that kids kids do so it was it was a joy to watch that and the smile on her face a few times and yours so congratulations i hope uh, hope way more of that happens soon so um speaking of proud of your kids this was that was a great comment um uh who i did not see who made this but um one of the lessons that that I split into two days, which was just kind of accidental. I meant to put both of these up because they were from the same lesson. I meant to get them both up on in the middle of the week, whenever it was. Was the fly on the wall with with Fred? Um, One was the Bo Brummel's tune, and the other was Stormy Monday. And if you haven't watched the fly at the little segment of the of that lesson on Stormy Monday that I actually got up first, even though it followed the just it was um, the in the middle of it. Well, I just suggested him singing it. I had no idea he was going to be able to belt it out like that. I know he's a good singer, but I was still stunned. And uh, as uh, uh, somebody noted on there, said, "Yeah, you look like a proud papa out there." And I said, "You know, was, that's how I feel about." all my students and all the TG world as well too so it's uh, it was just just really fun but it reminded me of Chris and and Alessandra and uh, and Rebecca and all that other stuff let me see was there anything else I want to talk about today not too much um, oh Daryl this was very cool
song in the key of E should end with that little uh, Greg Lake lick. That's it. No, too many notes. That was it. Okay, I think, uh, let's see, we talked about, be sure to tomorrow check into, and you'll probably, you'll probably be getting emails about this, but, but check into the 48 hour DVD sweepstakes with some cool stuff given away. Everybody that enters into the, uh, anybody that, I think, if you buy something, you get entered into a contest, into the, the sweepstakes. Anyway, those details will all be worked out and they'll all be up tomorrow. I hope, and I, ho I hope I have it straight by then too. That's it for today.